What's up everybody, it's me Alex Benz here and I wanna bring you my kind of long overdue video of my follow up to my little holiday project. I built my own Jesus piece with three, cust not custom, but separate, separate, you know, purchases. I bought the I bought the piece from Bam Jewelers in New York for a great deal. Look at the eyes, even they're so clear. They're so clear. I used to have eye, dot, eye clarity, diamond eye one, man. Those are just, man, I don't know shade anybody, but those are my first kind of, you know, first thing of diamonds a couple couple months ago, and they just, man, they're not worth it. It's better to pay a little bit more to get higher quality if you plan on keeping it forever. So yeah, that's my two cents. Anyway, let me just give you a little detailed shot. It's more of a traditional. It's just solid gold with the two VS three millimeter diamond eyes. And yeah, let me get into how I created it. Anyone, you know, if anyone's interested, I got I got it on a um. What is this? One, yeah, 1.75 inch Miami Cuban link, 14 karat solid gold uh, Cuban link. I just said that, but I usually have it on a four millimeter, 14 karat rope chain, but I don't really feel like having a big old flashy setup today. That's kind of like when I go to work or with my, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Anybody, let me, let me get into it down here. I don't, don't mind my shirt though. This is a pro club I have from the back, you know. You gotta remember where you came from when you start getting nights of things for anything. Look at the eyes on it though. Those like look like 3D. Let me show you how I let me let me give you my insight on how I created it. If for any this can go for a lot of things. I didn't know this was really possible, you know, up until like two or three months ago. I would have done this a long time ago because I wasted my time buying some like kind of chintzy Jesus pieces. You know, I should just just all that money I spent on those that I didn't really want, I could have just used for something like this. I sold all this by the way. You know, I'm just I hate looking at things. That you don't, I don't like when you buy them. I just don't like it. Anyway, enough about that personal stuff. Look at the clear dime. It's like, they look so clear. They almost look freaking fake. But, I mean, I, they're not fake. I don't even need to say that. But, let me just focus it in. Yeah, so, I bought this pendant in the last video. A little uh, backstory. I bought this pendant for about 190 off some Instagram. Not in, You know, it's an official company. But, he had a post on his Instagram. And, I... I'm gonna keep it short. I just bought it because a guy designed it with the blood dripping, but he decided he didn't want to or couldn't pay for it. So I just outright like purchased it like that. And it came, I wore a plain Jane for a while until I found a good wholesaler and someone that I could actually install it for me. So I went to the local place next to me, not next to me, but like in my area. And he said it couldn't be done. He just said it couldn't be done. They all said it couldn't be done. And they said it can crack or break things like that they can crack and break it they're really they really didn't know what the hell they they were really doing to be honest from what it sounded like that brought to my my go my guy over in the valley fair mall who's a master and he said he can do it but he had to raise which is fine he just he had to raise he had to raise the the what's it called the back of the eyes i guess you can call it like he had to raise the little circles that he needed to like you can't tell i guess it kind of they're raised up to fit the diamond through the back because the piece is thin. That's the only con with the whole thing to me is the piece is a little thin. But, yeah, I mean, it's still great. It's still great. I don't really care. Beautiful. Like, I work in a place where there's a lot of highlighting, and it just shines, like, blue and green, blue and green, blue and green, sometimes red. You know, really clear, beautiful. The diamond cuts on the side really shine. I mean, you can check out Bam Jewelers if they have any more like this but i recommend the quality i wish i knew it was a little thin but you know when you have it on like this i'm on their dutty ass shirt you know it looks beautiful but not i'm not saying but it's a bad thing but that's i'm just saying that's the only con to it and i don't know if i mentioned it or not but now nah, yeah i did i did i freaking yeah i have it on this little baby cube and i have it on today hey stay tuned everybody because christmas is gonna come up i'm gonna get myself one last thing for 2020 y'all might want to see it to get some ideas four millimeter Cuban link, solid gold, 14 karat, 24 inches. This is 20 inches. I want to get like a long, big piece, you know. Just that's how I'm feeling lately. So, yeah. So, I'm going to break it down. All you need to do is just buy the pendant and then buy the loose diamonds from... Oh, wait. Let me get in the light. There we go. That's the money shot right there. Okay. Let me just stop talking for one second. Let me just show you. I mean, it does not do it justice, man. I swear. I swear, man. Anyway. It's beautiful, though. I promise. Anyway, I don't need to say that. I keep saying anyway, but let me see if I can get a stamp, though. Come on, man. Yeah. No wrap cap. Anyway. 
So yeah, buy the pendant and then buy the loose diamonds. And then also an important part is make sure, I think I was, I was mentioning this a minute ago, I got sidetracked. Remember, find a jeweler that really knows how to do it. And they also might say, show, bring the pendant in. That's also, that's also true. Buy the pendant and then ask around. And if no one can really do it, which is not true because someone can do it, then return it and maybe just pay a little extra to get the diamonds in the eyes. But if someone can do it, just have it done and tell them if it's too thin to raise it on the back like that. So yeah overall great piece i'm happy with it it replaced my little tiny gold cross crucifix i am catholic so you know i like to have it with me all the time yeah really pretty 10 carat stay tuned i'm gonna get some more stuff more videos coming and yeah if any of anyone if any of you have any questions on how i really built it you know any other questions in general this just hit me on my instagram dm I'll, it'll be in my bio please like comment and subscribe you know, I don't, I know I'm not a big YouTuber, but I just see any everybody's feedback on what I'm showing you. Anything just like nice or bad or oh it looks good or how'd you do that? You know, I just want to hear it. You know, maybe you don't know, but I want to know. So yeah, I just leave it at that. Man, oh man, real VS. People are saying VS with a really like eye clarity. I used to have eye clarity. I think I said it, but these ain't no. I, I mean, I know they're not, but for like I can just I just even if I didn't know anything, these are really clear. Hit me on the DM, man. I can I can really show you where I got these from too. I got them for I got both these diamonds. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Ninety nine dollars, three millimeter loose diamonds from a wholesaler online. I, yeah. So, okay. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. The little sizing reference. Yeah, it looks good. I'm putting on a big Cuban soon though. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Merry Christmas.